everybody in the chat room. This is Lewis Lee from All Ends Magazine, and we are here live on Planet Traffic. And go ahead, people, tell them who you are. Dina, you first. All right. Or would you like me to introduce you? No, I can introduce myself. <laughs> I'm not that formal. Hi, guys. <laughs> Dina Parisi here. Dina Parisi Racing. I know that makes so much sense, doesn't it? Uh, 2015 Ayatari Pro Mod Champion. I love that. And we are here live on Plane and Traffic with Luis Santiago. Sounds and good. Luis. Glad to have you. <laughs> Um, this isn't your first time on. You've been on a couple times, right? Yeah, we've been. Um, last time, um, and Ray was on. I don't know if Ray's around. I'm looking to see if he's in the chat room there. He's and uh, yeah, so it was a that was a great interview last time. A lot of fun. Oh, I was dying in the chat room. It was hysterical. I mean, you just <laughs> have such a, a personable way about you, a funny way about you, a just a genuine. Down to way about you. I love you're it. not you're not married to me. That's why you're saying that. If you were married <laughs> to me, you'd be saying something. Well, different. it's kind of funny because you know my wife. She's a big fan of yours, and you and my wife have a lot of common interest, and you you, you kind of I think know. on the same plane. So I know, you know I love that. I told the ice skating story when we spoke on the phone. That was you know. Yes, I love that. That's awesome. I I, I love that. You have to told, send me some pictures. I will. I will. I told her the story, and she started cracking up all over again, just like it was yesterday. So I love it. she couldn't stop. Hey, there ladies. He is. what up, Dina? How What's you doing? Up? How are you? I'm just peachy. 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 That's peachy. my line. Peachy. peachy. Hey, everybody in the chat room. I just want to make it notice that Lou has a little picture in his little his little symbol. What are you talking about? <laughs> My little th- what? Your little symbol that pops up next to your name. I got a picture. Uh-huh. There. Where was that? The S10? No, it's the Blazer. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, I see that. It's that. Tw- it's the 2010 on the on the 86 Blazer. <laughs> 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 I know it, it took me what two years to get there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> I was like, "Who's this guy?" <laughs> <laughs> I changed Bible inside. You didn't notice either, Lewis. I'm very upset about that. Oh, wait a minute. You, wait a minute. You sure did. What did you put I, on there? That's a... Uh, my 64 Malibu Super Sport I put in there. Oh, nice. Uh, Dina, this is... Oh, yeah. Oh, Dina, you're slacking. That's you the one we're going to cut up, right? No, the other one we're going to cut oh, up. God, you're such a... You're so gay. <laughs> I have two 64s. What are you going to do? <laughs> one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be friggin' amazing, that call, when it's all said and done. I can't wait. <laughs> right. So, Dina, tell us uh, how your year's been since you've been on here last. What's Well, new? we... Um, I'm sorry, I can hear myself. Um, we talked about PRI a second ago before we went on air, so I was very honored to be asked to speak at the Women of Motorsports Seminar. Very that cool. That was really cool. Yeah, that was really cool. That was um, at PRI, and uh, we got a lot out of that. We had a pretty full audience, and I've had some people contact me for mentoring after that, so that was kind of nice. And uh, so since then, we've actually – we're looking to make some big changes to the car, and um, we're, we had a setback um, that – it happened. So we had a little bit of a setback. So now we're rocking and rolling. We're on the way. Uh, if anyone saw the video from the other day, you saw a little snippet of Kryptonite Customs. And uh, it's about all I can tell you. I can't tell you anything else. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, tell us about the mentoring that you're going to do. Yeah. Anyone who wants to, um, to contact um, either Jeanette through carchicks.com. Or they can contact me directly, and we're doing a mentoring program, and uh, it's for you know young racers coming up or older racers. I mean, I didn't start racing until I was in my 30s, so you know if you're just if you're new to the game or if you feel like you're a little lost, if some people don't know how to do interviews, some people don't, uh, you know, don't know what to wear to an interview. It's I'm amazed, but um, I guess because I came from an entertainment background, I understand it. So, uh, you know, if people need help, I'm more than willing to help. Yeah. 
Now, is this Very for cool. for uh, young ladies or for anybody? It's for anyone. Anyone doesn't necessarily have to be a young lady. Be a young lady it could be a young man. Could be older. Um, okay. Could be the parent. You know, one of the thing, one of the discussions that we had at PRI was the fact that um, that the okay. kids, unfortunately, what I said was they need to have their parents kind of peek in on their social media. Any of the younger set that mm -hmm. are uh, racing or any elite athlete, really. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I came from a figure skating background. So a lot of elite athletes, they really need to make sure that they have if they're younger, have their parents look at it. You know, um, I thank God my dad can't see some of the messages I get, really, quite frankly. But um, but yes, and someone mentioned clothing is important for an interview. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, I have to tell people not, you know, tell girls don't wear a tank top to an interview. You want to wear, you know, a collared shirt or a regular shirt. And uh, it's, uh, it, it, there are just some people who, they're, they're just not there yet. So we can give them a yeah. little help. Yeah. You have to dress for success. Yeah. 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 And, and you know what? It's a 24 seven job, really. You know, you're representing different companies. You're representing you know, your marketing partners, whomever they may be. And you have to remember that social media things don't go away. You know, people think, oh, Snapchat, it goes away. I'm like, no, it doesn't go away. No. What no. you need to do when you put anything out on social media, you have to type it. You have to read it. And if you think mm -hmm. there's something wrong there, or you're embarrassed to see your husband, wife, you know, mom, dad, you know, read that. You need to go back there and fix it and correct it. Because once you put it out there, it's out. It's out mm -hmm. forever. And you can't take it back. So if you're afraid of someone reading that that's close to you, and they may look at you in a different light for putting it out there, don't post it. Right. It's just that simple. Look, it's kind of like posting pictures of my husband in a tutu. It's out there. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> it's staying there. <laughs> it's okay. He looks fabulous in it. <laughs> he does. Did you see the last picture that he posted? He's he's jumping up in the air. It's hilarious. He's hilarious. <laughs> he's just too much. But someone asked about other forms of racing, and you know, I do know people in other forms of racing, and I have to say, I don't know if anyone saw about mm, a month ago. Uh, they have put Carmen Jord Jorda on the Women of Motorsports uh, Committee for uh, F1. And, or, and I was shocked because she was telling young women that they should go for F3 because it's not as hard of a car to drive. Like, you're already telling them, you're, she's supposed to be giving them the boost and she's already telling them, well, yeah. you know, that might be too much for you. Yeah, you have to go back and read it. It's very funny because as a woman in motorsports, like if you try it and you can't handle it, that's great. You know, you're not going to try it in a major race. You're going to try it out at practice right. or, you know. So that was kind of my point. So when I went on there, I disagreed with what she said. But I never had the opportunity to be able to kind of go back and forth with her because the minute I disagreed with her, she blocked me. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And I, I, I found that very telling because I was like, wait, we're all, first of all, we're all in motorsports. We all love the sport. Yeah. But the worst part to me was, yeah, the ch no offense to you guys, but us chicks got to stick together. And yeah. yeah. And Europe is way different. Jim Lestella is saying Europe is, and that's true. But the point being is that if she's a, a woman on the Women in Motorsports <laughs> committee, then she should be trying a little yeah. bit harder for, you know. But also, too, you have Ernie Echelon who thinks that women should have their very own uh, F1 series because they're not good enough. So I, I, that, I guess that's where it comes from. You're a champion. That's not true. So. Well, that it's not that true. Old. I mean, there. You know, look at look at Brittany Force. She won mm -hmm. Top right. Fuel last year, and um, there are plenty of women out there. Bunny Burkett, who won um, IHRA Funny Car back in mm -hmm. you know back in the eighties, nineties. So, you know, there's plenty of women that are out there that are doing their thing. And not to say, look, I know men that wouldn't handle what we handle. 
but it doesn't yeah. it, i don't think it's a male or a female thing i think it's just you either do it and you're good at it or if you're not good at it then find something else in that realm that you can attach to and be good at yeah you so. got it or you don't and even at that level there's there's people that have more of it than than others in their in their field you know what i mean you just gotta yeah they either have it or you don't it's that simple yeah, abs absolutely but i i do think that people have to i i think that kind of condemning it before people even got the chance to try was insane yeah but that's just my opinion yeah that's what they crazy. say about opinions <laughs> what do they say about it? <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're like, what they like. They like. No, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> no. If anyone wants to know, just need PM me. I'll fill you in the blanks after the show. <laughs> this is a family uh, show here. We got to keep it G rated. So, we sorry if Lou. I'm not uh, engaging. I'm trying to get us live on You're Facebook. You're fine. I know. I'm like we lost. I Lou. just checked it. I didn't see anything, so I went. I just logged out. That's what I did. Uh, so, the um, I told you. everybody. So now, yeah, I told everybody to log in the uh, Crabcast. Hopefully, people are starting to you know funnel in over this way. So, 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 Dina, are you gonna um, are you gonna be at the four wide? Do they run pro mods at the four wide down here? Uh, they they run pro mods at um. Because uh, I know I've well, I was there before they ran four wide, but in um, Z Max, I yeah. believe they run Pro Mod there, and then uh, they'll run it in Vegas at the end of the season. I think. So are you are you going to come down and run? No, no, uh -uh. no. We're um, we're not currently running um, NHRA, so hopefully, oh, okay. um, yeah. Um, right now we're um, between NMCA and PDRA. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got you. Yeah, I just didn't, Do I, you have I, a big... I forgot to ask because I thought they ran them there, but I didn't I didn't know for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got you. And me at Pro Mods four wide is insanity, if you ask me. Uh, you know, i I was telling somebody this the other You're day. You're asking I, for trouble, I I've think. Seen, but I've seen it a couple of times. I've been in a four wide, you know, and, and seen it and it's just too much. It's too much to watch. Because there's there's so much stuff going on in a short amount of time. Yeah. You can you can miss so much. You know yeah. what I mean? I, it, I mean, I like the four wide because it's just that different format for for a oh, couple yeah. of races. And now we have and now we have Vegas, and um, I, the four wides are really cool. But as a driver, that's hard because you have to you have to make sure that everybody is pre staged. Then you have to pay attention to when everybody's staged. It's it, oh. it's quite a mind game. Yeah, I didn't yeah, think it's, of it's that. a lot for the yeah, it's a lot for the drivers for sure. I didn't even yeah. think of that. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't I haven't done it, so I'm just kind of going by and and watching it on TV where I'm like, dang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pay attention. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's attention. a lot. It's a lot. I mean, to me, it's a lot yeah. watching it. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you know the minute you. It, it's so fast. Like the minute someone hazes the tire, you're like, what happened? And then something else is, you know, they're gone. They're, you know, it's, yeah. there's a lot going on. Yeah. 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 It's crazy. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. So, so I, but I, it's I fun. But it's fun. More. It's fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Papa Squirrel. Hey, did you ever come up this way? Okay. Uh, Papa what, Squirrel. Back? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Papa Squirrel. Papa Squirrel four wide. The Z, Z Max here in Char in uh, North Carolina, it's actually four wide drag racing. They have two Christmas trees uh, and four lanes. He hasn't seen it. He didn't know what it was. And now uh, they did, they did Vegas over the winter, so Vegas is now four wide. So yeah, you're mm -hmm. you're actually lining up four pro mods, four funny cars, four top fuel, four of insane. everything in running. Yeah, it's insane. It's insane. It really is. It's insane. It's insane. I think it's a it's great the fans for them to see something different. Although it's, you know, it does make the race go a little bit faster. Obviously. Yeah. Well, I. But um. Well, you know, I was told originally that the reason why they were doing it was so they use one side of the track and say yeah. and somebody melts down in his oil all over the place instead of having instead of having you know stop everything to do the cleanup they move over to the other side of the track. That's what mm -hmm. I was told it was for originally. Yeah, and that's okay. So that now you can was, finish saying what you were saying. 
<laughs> that was well, but that's where the impression that we were under too, uh, in the very, very beginning right. was that they were gonna because they wanted to uh, have more live races. Right. They want to have more races live on TV, and they were having an issue with that, of course, because if you have an oil down, you have downtime depending right. on how bad it is. So yeah, that's that's what we were told. But and then here you go, and they're running them four wide. So yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, they did a pretty good April Fool's joke on. I think it was Ronnie Caps. They told them that they were building six wide. He was like six wide. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny yeah. you brought him up. We were hanging out with him in Canada a couple weeks ago. It's Canadian. He's a, Get he, it right. He, Canadian. <laughs> he's he's super nice. Hello yeah, to all is. our friends in the north. Yeah, he's a cool guy. We need to get him on. We need to get him on, and we need to get Jack Beckman on. You know what? I, I texted yeah. him today, but he didn't get back to me, so he's being stuck up, I guess. Well, they're in uh, they're in Houston. <laughs> I talked I talked to Ron Caps last night. Oh, did you? He had just gotten into Houston, so they, he's getting ready for the race. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I texted him today. So, yeah, he'll get back to us, though. He's good yeah. there. Yeah, and I talked to Jack Not Beckman the other night. Yeah. I tried, well, I'll, I'll figure out the logistics. I tried to talk him into let me drive his car down the strip one time, but he wasn't having it. No, yeah. that didn't happen, huh? I don't yeah. know why. I don't know. I'm very I won't surprised. Drive as as him. I'm very surprised that he wouldn't let you do that. <laughs> Expensive. <laughs> well, you know what that means. I think we just build one. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. Fix him. We can figure it out. I'll, I'll call up Ray and Morrison. We'll, we'll get them all to. Don't worry. Figure it out. What the hell? I don't know. 4,000 horses is kind of. Uh... That's a lot of horse. That's yeah. a lot of pony. Can we can we do it like in a 68 van? <laughs> <laughs> I like that idea. Lou, I'll send the Nomad down. Change of plans. We'll push the brick down the road. We'll push the brick down the track, you know? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be airborne down the track with 4,000 That's why it's power. called Wings. <laughs> it's called Downforce. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a jet minivan somewhere around I've seen. <clears throat> oh, really? Online. Yeah, a jet minivan because everybody needs one of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Need to go to, to, school go to Kroger in my jet minivan. Well, in, in um when I was in Gulfport in ninety, I think it was, there was um there was a uh it was the uh, Oldsmobile silhouette that was a pro mod. That's Remember the right. old, it was the Oldsmobile silhouette? It was yeah. they had him on Get Shorty. <laughs> There was the guy that happened that. that was uh it was a pro mod. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it was it was I think it was, it was I mean I would think it was pretty good because it was a wedge. Remember how how <laughs> the front end was so slow? Lou pull up a picture of a damn of an Oldsmobile silhouette. <laughs> right. Hold on. They'll probably find Hold out. on, probably he says. Find. It, was a, it was a pro mod. I remember that I remember that thing. That was pretty crazy. I think it was white. I think it was. Yeah, I had a silhouette, but not like that. <laughs> yeah. And the bug catcher was right at the base of the windshield. Yeah, it was pretty cool. That's Alice saying, story. look for the videos. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so Oh, hi, Margo. This is Margo, who is, uh, she's going to be starting racing soon, too, right, Margo? Oh, when awesome. Come, how long before we get to see Stella? Well, there's a little going to be a little change there, so I just want everyone to keep hashtag spicy meatball. Spicy <laughs> meatball. Spicy meatball, yes. I saw that. <laughs> and uh, that started as a goof on, I was watching racing on like one of the onlines and there was a troll or two in there. And so I took my name off of it and put spicy meatball, like totally as a goof yeah. and it's stuck. It's stuck. It's awesome. <laughs> so, awesome. um, so keep spicy meatball in mind and, uh, for upcoming and, um, I, I can't even say what it is, but it's so freaking cool that you guys are going to just 
be off your chairs. It's that. So, so, so is it on? Uh, is it on Instagram? Spicy Meatball is that is that a handle we need to? Well, Spicy follow? Meatball is yeah. So wherever um, I usually just use uh, we're using hashtag Spicy Meatball. So when you uh, go online, you'll be able to see uh, you'll be able to find me. <laughs> I mean, you can always <laughs> find me, but we're we're gonna try to continue to use that hashtag Spicy Meatball. So, there you go. Yeah. You gotta tag your car now. There you go. You'll see. Hey, where's Ray? Where's Ray? Yeah, where Ray's, is Ray? Ray? Ray's here, but we can only have four up at a time. Well, you, you the, know, when uh, when we get to the halfway system. point, when we get to the halfway point, I'll jump off and listen, and Ray can Ray can get on because you know Ray's got to talk too. You know that Ray doesn't. Ray's probably he's probably yeah. going nuts right now. Well, you hang out. I mean, I'll, 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 I'll head out. It's okay. You're the draw here. You and Dean are the draw, you know. So I mean, hey, hey. <laughs> well, no, hey, I'm the sexy well, one here. Come on. <laughs> I agree. But you're our fearless leader, so you have to stay at the helm and steer the ship and guide us through the night safely. Yeah, when you weren't when you weren't here the one week when when Tracy wanted attention, it was it was a mess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We couldn't get on. We couldn't do anything. We're just, we're just hanging well, out. Like we idiots, like, we oh. were a mess. <laughs> you, you're staying no matter what. It was a total disaster. So. said <laughs> <laughs> Tracy wanted attention. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's having Dina chest pain. She wanted attention. <laughs> Dina, was, a couple of weeks ago, I had to take the chest wife to the pain. emergency. She, was, she just she wanted was, uh, a little attention. She had to go yeah. to the emergency room. She's like, I'm gonna fix him every Thursday night. He's on the, yeah. on the computer. <laughs> I love how I love how you guys are. Jim said she had spicy meatball. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't you cook them. Oh no, I, I hear yours are good. So one day <laughs> I have to come down uh, through Atlanta, bring some Italian stuff from up here, make a little pit stop there, and uh, you know. Please do, because we have firsties up here. We have firsties out here. They were on 101st Avenue in Ozone Park. Now they moved out to my neck of the woods. So, oh, look at that! We got a decent place on Montauk and Snedeker in Bayport. It's a home run. So, uh, uh, really good stuff. Do they have the meat and the cheese hanging in the? Oh thing? yeah, and when you walk in there, it just like you just take that deep breath in. The aroma yeah. just gives you. To a special place far, far away, which is much better. Yeah. <laughs> That's only a New York yeah. thing. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta, yeah, yeah. You gotta come New to York, this. Chicago too. So you'll find it in Chicago yeah. too. Yeah, Chicago too. Yeah. That's yeah, hard. Yeah, hard. I, I noticed one too. of your. Oh, I'm sorry. I noticed one of your handles on uh, on Instagram and Twitter was uh, the Pickles Project. Yeah, that's um. Thank you. That's our. Uh, I haven't launched it yet. So for anyone who <laughs> I haven't launched the website yet, but the social media is up. So for anyone who has kind of followed us, they know that Bella was our pug that we have for 15 years and she died a year ago in November. And, um, and then we got pickles last April and um, she died at seven months old. Oh. Uh, when she went to, yeah, when she went to be spay, she never came out of anesthesia. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it was horrible. It was horrible. I'm not going to lie. So she's a cute little Brussels Griffon. She was only about six pounds, a little teeny tiny thing. It wound up that she had, um, we did a necropsy because I didn't want another animal owner to go through what we went through. And it wound up that she had a parasite that had compromised all of her major organs. Wow. It was never caught. It was never caught. So when they went to put her under the anesthesia, it, it the, mm -hmm. the lesion that was on her heart was what killed her. And we learned this afterwards. And we always knew there was something not right with her. I kept saying it from the beginning. I'm like, cognitively, there's something that's weird with her. And we took her to a couple of vet stone here. And that being neither here nor there, I'm not going to go any further. But <laughs> excuse me. Um, so I decided her name was Pickles. <laughs> excuse me, decided to start the Pickles Project. And um, it's just um, what it's building up to be is just a place for pet owners to go to get some more information. Uh, when you get a puppy, when you, um, anything from getting a puppy or a kitten to euthanasia. 
Is yeah. euthanasia something depressing and horrible, but nobody ever talks about it and mm -hmm. talk about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, when we were losing our Bella at 15, we took her from here in Georgia. We drove her back to New York to her vet in New York. Alan Corrin, West Hills Animal Hospital. Shout out to them because West Hills is awesome. And um, and he said, yeah, that it was her time. So and there were a few things that he said to me when we were trying to figure out what to do. But um, I think we all feel so guilty when something like that happens. You feel like you're taking that in your own hands. And um, it's really not that way. So it, I'm just kind of I'm I'm not a veterinarian. I only play one in my head. So get that straight. And there will be no medical advice given, but we will try to um, guide people along. And, yeah. and the social media is up and uh, you can hop on. Very cool. Okay, what is it again? Um, actually, it's can called, you, the, can you type it's called the Pickles uh, Project. Yeah. The okay. Pickles Project. Is that the uh, social media tag? On all of them, yeah. The only one that's different is. Um, is uh, oh. <clears throat> Twitter, it's Pickles Project One because some guy had Pickles Project for no reason. He doesn't even have any tweets, but I can't use it, so it's Pickles Project One. <laughs> but everything else is Pickles. He was Project. talking about his junk. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh God! Oh. <laughs> well, the the fact that he hasn't tweeted may mean gherkin. I'm just saying. I'm saying, you know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> No tweeting equals gherkin. <laughs> Let us know when you get it up. We'll um we'll put it on uh, our website. Thank you. We'll run a link for you. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. So I will say this the other day, last night as a matter of fact, I uh Lewis Lee and and uh um what's his name? God, uh Lewis, the, the guy who did the website. Um they redid my website. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chris. They redid my website. I was impressed. <laughs> so you, you finally got on and took a look at it. Huh? I finally got on and took a look at it. <laughs> yeah, we uh we're gonna put some put some work into it. We're gonna get it popping. Yeah, so now far, we just so got like to get malware off the forum now. We gotta get mm -hmm. that out and keep it off because we got to do uh because that's going to start firing up real soon you know because i'm going uh the plates i got an email from i got a text message i mean from the guys who cut the plates i need those two plates for the the mezzanine and they'll be done so i'm going to be heading back up there to get on that mezzanine again matter of fact i'll get my phone you guys haven't seen the pictures i'll get my phone i'll be right back sure. All right. I'll be back. Yeah. Yes. All right, Tori, I'm going to bounce you out and let uh, Ray in real quick. Cool. Sounds good. All right. All right, Ray, here I come. Where is he? There he is. We see a little see ray. A little, <laughs> I, see, I see a little tiny ray over there. That, that, that's about. That's about it. <laughs> What's going on, Ray? Jeez, oh, why are you looking tonight? Good to see ray, you. Ray, where are you? Uh, I'm How in the. Are I'm you? In where the, are you? I'm in the dungeon. <laughs> yeah, fighting a head infection. You know. Well, but, you got, yeah. Got, well, yeah. Lou did that before. He went out and came back. Eh, maybe it'll, it'll pick up. Oh, there now, oh, there. Oh. I'm a big black screen. There we go. <laughs> Nice. Come on, Ray. We're trying. You can do it, Ray. Go to the you light. You can do it. <laughs> Go into the light. Yeah. Is, is Ray in the witness protection program now? Yes. <laughs> Apparently so, yes. So I, I went to get my phone and And you found a cartoon figure instead. No, this is this is what I, this is what I, this is what's laying on the couch. Hold on. I had to blow it up, but it's Oh. All, all bundled up. Rest. The dog is actually resting its head on the arm of the the, the couch um, like a pillow. Yeah, nice. bundled up. Shoot, I think it's I think it's um, 
I think she, I think our dog. I think Tina's dog is part Jack Russell. Yeah. It it burrows under the blankets. Like if you leave a blanket under, <laughs> under, under anywhere, it gets under the blankets and just gets fully covered. My and every now and then, like, the nose will pop out, but that's it. I think mine is part Jack yeah. Daniels. Like you find them in the liquor cabinet. There you go. <laughs> Speaking, Speaking of, of Jack Daniels, <laughs> this came in yesterday. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. And what's, it's, and it's, what's in it? Gentleman Jack. Nice. Ooh, yeah. yeah, Gentleman Jack. And it's the uh it's laser etched and everything, man. It's gorgeous. Oh wow. Yeah, it's it's a really <laughs> it's a really nice bottle. But um 75 years, huh? 75 years of U.S. Navy Seabees have been in existence. Wow. Yeah. Speaking of animals going under the covers, almost killed my cat the other day. He was up under there asleep. And I, was just about, I was just about to sit down, and for some reason, I, I looked at the knot in the cover. I'm like, huh, something ain't right here. Doing a Christopher, huh, from, uh, from Christopher he was up under, He'd have been a smashed puppy. That's that's the mezzanine. Nice, nice. That's nice. I gotta that move. Uh, nice. The the wall, the wall run. It's it's not straight, so it's running at an angle. And the last column we set, we didn't was the only one we didn't compensate for. So mm-hmm. it's it's oh, literally wow. two inches too wide. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't even know. I don't even know how we did it. We just, I don't know. We didn't even compensate for it. Yeah, it doesn't look like that gentleman Jack is open just yet. So <laughs> I, know, right? I have no excuse. We just didn't pay attention. <laughs> we just didn't pay attention. I don't know. I don't know. But we got. But we um. So what I did was actually, the plates I made were uh, they're eight by eight squares. So I left the bolt holes in the same location for the anchors. I just moved one side out three inches. So I'm gonna cut the plate. I'm gonna cut the column on the bottom, put some relief cuts on the horizontal piece, and swing it over two inches. So and and then drop the you know put the new plate in, and I'll just I'll use the same anchors and everything. I won't have to change wow. everything up. But yeah, <clears throat> welded it all up. I brought one of my uh, one of my youngest son's friends up there. He wanted to learn how to weld, and I've been showing him. So we went up there and we welded it all up. That's yeah. something I want to do too. So I want to learn how to weld so bad. Well, by God, Dina, when I start doing the show, you're more than welcome to come because there's going to be lots of welding. <laughs> right. I'm in. MIG and I'm in. There's going to be lots I'm of in. welding. It'd be nice to be able to weld those headers if something happens to them, you yeah. know, mid race or something. So. Yeah. Well, you guys run, you run stainless headers or do you, what do you, what do you run? What material is it? Um, I guess it's stainless. I don't even know if I ever even thought about it. I'm not sure. I guess they are. It's a well, good I question. Mean, I know with you guys with weight and everything, it, it could be like titanium. I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Oh no, uh uh-uh. no. You know what I mean? I just I know you guys are really big on weight. That, there he is. <gasps> Look at you. Yeah, you know. That's an oldie but a goodie. I know the only other one I have is Tweaky, and I couldn't find that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's probably yeah. small now anyway. We forgot to tell you, <laughs> all the guests have to send me and Lou t shirts. <laughs> This I have be, some, but this I don't one, have too many left. This so. one's grandfathered in. This is, still, like I said, this is an old Yes, one. it is grandfathered in. That's an oldie with a goodie. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some new T-shirts made this year. I haven't made T-shirts in. We never even made them when we won the championship. Yeah. Wasn't in. Wow. The, wasn't in the budget. Wasn't in the budget. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We're working on that too. We're working on a deal to make T-shirts again too, because it was it was always a big. Uh, people loved it. You know. So. Yeah, I have Andrew has that one T-shirt that has all the grease on it. Remember we posted it that time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Was good. I think yeah. that one yeah, popped up on the new website. T-shirts made. I'm gonna get some made. For, I gotta get some made for the show. Yeah, I gotta get, I gotta get some. So yeah, we, we got new logos, a new web guy. Got new all sorts of new logos and, and cool stuff. So we're ready to rock and roll. Just gotta you know raise some money. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, all, yeah. That's yeah. always the. the I, I hear yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, always the yeah. problem. It is always the problem. It is. It is. You know, I knew I shouldn't have stopped stripping until we got all our stuff together. <laughs> well, if I got to go back. I will. Yeah. You better. Yeah. You better get out the speedo and the platform shoes, my friend. Get going. Who's <laughs> going with speedos? 
I want to know do, do the black <laughs> goldfish in them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, Jason was right on the fish tank platform. Hey, hey, right on. He got so, it. Out, he got it out of just as I was saying it. <laughs> man, don't laugh, man. Back back in the seventies, I worked at Dairy Barn, and that was the days of wearing. You know, oh my God, Dairy Barn, yeah. Dairy Barn. Cuff, remember cuffed bell bottom pants? I think yeah. they were plaid with platform yeah. shoes. I used to yeah. come home with like three dollars and change in my cuffs every night. Oh <laughs> like yeah, bottle caps and all sorts of crazy stuff. Yeah, I remember them. Yeah. And they were a big cuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it had to be like a, a big cuff. bell bottom. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> Absolutely. That's uh, funny. That yeah. is funny. I remember I remember those, and they were they were the rock and polyester. Yeah, they probably were. Lou, did yeah. you, was it you who posted that picture? The, the, yeah. The, the from back high, in the day? High pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. From back in the 70s, I, was, I put on there, I'm going to bring them back. <laughs> wow. you know, the things that came way up here they're like tight halfway and then they, they flared out the bottom mm -hmm. <laughs> I had a guy I work with that used to wear his pants up there I, don't know, I found it frightening yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it's very you know, it's one thing. It's, it's, very one, it's one thing if they make them that high it's another yeah, no. thing if you pull them they up that high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking like a pair of like regular pleated. Yeah, that's pants. off putting. Yeah. Up to the, yeah. I was yeah. like, I'm like, you don't need to wear them as a tube top, really. It's just not a good. <laughs> if my husband was watching, he'd know exactly who I'm referring to. But <laughs> we'll let that be. Man, my lips are sealed. <laughs> Jeez, that's funny. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I, I've been meaning to ask you, Dina. What size engine you guys have in your rig? It's in in my rig. In your, in your Promot car. Oh, it's a five twenty six Hemi. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I meant to. I meant to ask that yeah. earlier. I just or technically, you. or technically, a four twenty six depends on how you <laughs> how you slice it. But yeah, it's a five twenty six yeah. Hemi. Yep. Tori wants to know. Uh, it well, it's it's a Brad Anderson block. So um, and then uh, we have a guy in North Carolina, um, Andy Beal, who helps us with all our refresh. Hmm. So, um, yep. Yep, so we got our pistons from Wiseco. How long do you have it refreshed? It uh, it depends. Um, I, you know, we hope that nothing happens. But, um, like, rods, we don't really go more than 15 runs or so on rods. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that's when we'll start swapping stuff out. We don't do it out on the weekend like you see with a, you know, top two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, yeah, we're, it's they're bigger just. budget, yeah. Yeah, so when we we don't even have a spare bullet, so um, mm. you know when we come back, yeah, when we come back, um, you know the guys will, they'll take the valve covers off, uh, they'll just go over everything, make sure everything looks good. Andrew will go everything with a fine tooth comb, and then uh, head out for the next round as long as everything's cool. Yeah, and Tori wants to know what transmission are you run. <clears throat> well, I have a, a Bruno with a Lenko, three speed. Um, it's funny because we talk about this a lot. Um, that uh, when we ran the car that Ray has the shirt on, um, my '63 and uh, Andrew's '53 back in two thousand and like ten. Um, when NHRA Pro Mod, when Roger was bringing Pro Mod back to NHRA. He, the, one of the rules was uh, that most of the guys ran clutches, first of all. And one of the rules was you couldn't leave off a button. If you ran a converter, which was very few of us at the time, uh, you had to leave off a clutch pedal. And um, so many people now leave off of a button because it's allowed. Right. Um, and, it's pre and it's preference. It really is. And, um, and there's a lot of auto shift. But I still run my car with, um, I still leave off a clutch pedal, even though we run a converter, and I still shift. I still choose to shift. Oh, yeah. wow. Leaving off the button's yeah. a lot a lot easier on the car. You yeah. Know, it's easier on the, on the hardware, for sure. 
you know, speaking well, of it's still, it's still the same thing though, because it's still your, tra your trans brake is either off the clutch pedal or, or off the button. Mm -hmm. So my, it's, it's really still the same. Oh, if it's it's the the break, same yeah. There they are. There we go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think I had that mustache too on the left. Yeah. <laughs> right. My, my wife, hey, my wife jumped on that one quick. She's like, "No, you're not." Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, we, while we're talking about the quintessential mm -hmm. weed look, Dean, it says it's Chris's birthday today. By the way, my my oh, old, old is Chris, it? Yeah, it's his birthday today. So. Oh, wish yeah. him a happy birthday for I me. I sure will. I sure will. Um, what was I going to say? Um, oh, speaking of transmissions, uh, Freddie Brown. We all know Freddie Brown. Mm -hmm. yeah. His son Jason is running. Uh, he he was in the in a cart class. And he's moving up to cars. We're gonna have it. We're, we're trying to find him a spot on the show. It's gonna be like any week now. We're gonna have Freddie Brown's son on on the show. I'm gonna oh, get okay. him in the studio. So we're gonna have the other the new generation, you know, sitting there and, and telling us about. Uh, and from what I understand, I was talking to uh, talking to him a few weeks ago. He's winning. He's doing pretty well. You know, he's moving through the ranks. Nice. We had uh, when we had our power glide in our '67. We had a Freddie Brown. Yeah. There. How's Uncle Mel? Uncle Mel's good. I yeah. miss him though, because he's in New York, and I'm yeah. and we're here. I keep waiting to bump but, into him somewhere. You know, like <laughs> concert bar somewhere. I know I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna run into him somewhere. <clears throat> You'll very rarely see him at a bar. He's not a drinker, but he, uh, yeah. you know, he he gets the he gets the car out the '67. So. Um, it's silver, like like our old one. So. It was funny because yeah. the last time I ran into him, it was in a bar. <laughs> As a matter really? of fact, really, that's funny. Yeah, it was a that's good funny. Rat show. Oh, that's why. Right. That's why. That's yeah. why. Anything good, rats, he'll he'll make it out for. Yeah. Right. Right. Good deal. Local music. That's all. That's all. That's awesome. Cool. <laughs> so, uh, what's your next uh, next race or next event? Well, we are. Um, currently on hold like i said we're two months behind because we had a little bit of an issue with uh making the changes that we're making so uh we're now on the right path thankfully and um so um, our track eta i'm not really quite sure yet so um i should know that probably within a couple of weeks okay are you doing any uh pr um interviews or promotion stuff like you did at sema I, not currently. I mean, unless they they ask me to come back, we'll see. I don't know, you know, if I'll wind up going back to SEMA. That was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I think the fans liked it too because I was kind of on the other side of the camera, you know. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> I had a great time. Um, it was it was definitely a very fun uh, experience for sure. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Have you promoted that in uh, through social media? In, in is there anywhere people can find out? I know we have it up on the Motor Mouth Radio website. We put it up there. But you, it's, wow. you're talking about the SEMA stuff. The uh, the women in racing. The, uh, oh, that was PRI. Yes. Uh, okay. Any the uh, PRI the highlights of that because it was long uh, is on YouTube on our YouTube, which is Dina Parisi Racing. And then you can also see all of those SEMA interviews. They're all organized and on there. Um, there was a, a great interview with uh, Tony Schumacher because he had just built um, the Smoking the Bandit Trans Am with his son. So that was kind of cool. Um, we were in the Heights booth for that. So there's a couple of really neat interviews on there. Um, yeah. Graveyard cars. So, yeah. Excellent. Nice, nice. No, Vince, I've never run Silver Dollar yet. So... Oh, Jim wants to know. Uh, how do I knew that question was going to come up, Jim? So, what do I think about no prep? I personally, I'm a fan of prep. I'm just saying. I would say so, so too. Yeah. Think, you build a race I mean, car, you spend all that money, you want a prep track. <laughs> I know. And you know what? And the whole, because the whole street outlaw thing is a bit of a double edged sword for me. Yeah. So, for a lot of people. Um, you know what? I look. They got a platform and they took it. Can I blame them? <laughs> Hell no. Right. right. But I. But me as the driver that's trying to promote safety, I have a hard time when they're showing them in the car running a car with nitrous and no gloves. 
the whole like that thing. makes me just want to pull my hair out. I can't, I can't even, yeah. Yeah, right I can't cope with that. It was just a farce right from the beginning because, you know, they're street racing, which, of course, they shouldn't be promoting anyway. And, and then, right. you could, I mean, maybe the first season it looked a little a little more raw. But after a while, you could tell, wait a minute, they got, they got lights on stanchions here. They got generators. Yeah. Come on, where they, have, they have a jib. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly, <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly. And we look, we all know that it's production, and that's yeah. fine. But you know, that there are some 16, 17 year old kids, I think, that don't get the fact that it's production, right? So right. they want to go out in their backyard with their friends and make a list, mm-hmm. and they do just and like I, so you know, just like a hard time with that, just like with wrestling. Next thing you know, you had kids jumping off of roofs onto trampolines on their friend right. you know on a on a on a picnic table Ray, no to, kid right. does that yeah <laughs> well, they, yeah <laughs> now, <laughs> you know i mean no kid hot that, any, any, any night late in, in hot park in the industrial uh, uh, centers you know and, and they're out there doing the same thing they just mm-hmm. in, they see if they're not eating tide pods if they're not eating tide yeah. pods yeah. Right. there you go yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, well, Jim Lastella just said he said they're filling the stands. Well, but here's the thing too is, it's it, again, it's just because people are like, oh, they're on TV, and and it's no disrespect to them because they're like I've met Doc and Monza, and they're super nice guys. So it's not anything personal. It's just that I feel like the um, for the the other series that are bringing them in as a draw. I don't understand why you don't build the stars in your own series rather than pulling from outside of your series. Yeah. That you makes know, sense. there's a lot to be said and there's a lot to be said for the way things are marketed. I, oh, that, yeah. We could spend another hour on that, but we yeah. won't, but yeah. I, I'm just saying there, there's the way that things are marketed. And I think that we need to create the stars within our own series, whatever that series may be well, without pulling from somewhere else. It's funny because I always like when I do watch it, I watch the tax in the cars. Yeah. Watch the tax. You see a lot of strange things with the tax. Yeah. It's pretty yeah. funny. You know, yeah. like there, there was one where, you know, it, it's it, it to me. I mean, I, I, I've, I've never gone as fast as, as you do, Dina, but I have done 11 seconds in, in a legitimate street car. And, fast. you know, and, and, but there was none of this with the wheel. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Whenever they show them in the car, they're working. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but I'm, I don't I'm, work that hard. Yeah. Right. But one time I was, I, and this is when I started watching the tack. I was sitting there and I'm sitting there watching it. And I noticed that the, the, the Automita monster tack was at 2,500 RPMs. Yeah. Well, maybe there was a mechanical issue with the tack. (laughs) Watch the tack. (laughs) I'm sitting there watching. I'm like, hey. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, I watched the video. I watched the video of Ron Caps the other day, man. and, And it was him in his car. And things go by so fast. He's like, pat, 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 pat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that, I mean, that's what I'm saying. You know, like you want when Dean, what, what do you run to quarter in Dean? I mean, the, you run quarter or eighth mile now. Did they make you it guys depends on the depends on the series. Yeah. Okay. Depends on the series. So, so eighth mile would be like uh, 380s, 390s, uh, um, quarter mile. Okay. So, high so, fives. So, so stop and think about this for a second. She's run. She's. I'm just gonna say 380, right? She's running 380, mm-hmm. and she is not. She's not doing this when she's going down the road, unless no. shit's getting, unless shit's getting sideways. Yeah. Unless you're climbing. You don't want to do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Unless you're climbing the wall, been there, yeah. Right. <laughs> right. So, you know, and and I get it. No prep. You know, with the no prep stuff. You know, it's not. It's not sticky. Yada yada yada. I get that. But you still don't want to be doing that with the steering wheel, you know what I mean? Well, it, you can you do, don't that want to do that at twenty five hundred RPM. <laughs> yeah, twenty five. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> so. Exactly. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you take the uh, you take the you know the, the lens stabilization off the camera so that anything you do makes it shake like this, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, it, you know, it, people need to realize that it's for entertainment value. It's it's, it's actually not. become a car. I, I say it, it's actually become a caricature of itself. Because they've come through like full circles of what they're doing, yeah. and now it's just, yeah. you know, 
just a whole nother thing. They're, I mean, the cars just started getting faster and faster. And you can see the oh, first time they rolled out the pro model, I'm like, come on, guys, really? Yeah, Dude, they're all like that. They're all pro and they're not street cars. No. They're not street cars. I'm sorry. They're not. I mean, no. we used to, you know, when, 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 when I was in high school, Wayne had a 70 Cuda and we would drive that thing to Philly. We would drive it from New York to Philly to street race with slicks on it. Race and then drive back home. We drove that thing everywhere. So to me, that's a street car. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm sorry. You, you do a tube chassis pro mod car. That's not a street car. Nope. <laughs> that's not a street car. Right. That's a pro mod. There's, there's, there's no way to throw your cooler. Uh, pro mod. Right. Yeah. It, it's. And that but looks hey. like that the most drivable one out of all of them, you know? Yeah. The farm yeah. truck. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Yeah. It's kind of it cool. is. I have, um, if, if anyone's interested, so if you want to, because a lot of people, the one thing that I notice on social media is if something goes wrong in a race car, whatever it may be, I notice that a lot of people go, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? So I decided to break it down and there's a video on my YouTube. Um, it's 15 minutes long, so it's not, you know, uh, and it actually breaks the run down from start to finish. And it oh, shows wow. you every angle. It shows you. So what I did was I did it in the shop first. So I could show you where the pedals were and what was in the cockpit of the car. Mm -hmm. And then we went to the burnout and how I do the burnout, you know, put the car in high gear, do the burnout, slow down, pull it out of high gear hit the trans brake, put the car in reverse. There's a lot more that goes on in there. You know, it's not just you. I don't I don't think that a lot of people realize. So um, so I put this up so that people could see actually what the step by step process is. Right. You know, like after doing the burnout, backing up and sitting and waiting, put the car in neutral, clear it out while the boys are doing what they need to do. And then as soon as they give me the get go, give me the go sign, and not until then will I pull the car forward mm -hmm. because until the guy who's bringing me in the beams, until he has eyeballs on me, I, I won't put that car in drive. Right. Right. So right. you're in first gear, I should say. So, um, you know, and that's a thing, like there's a lot of things that we do. Like I, there's no pushing of our car. There's no hold in the back of the car in a burnout. I'm not really quite sure why you have to, push a 2600 pound car yeah. in a burnout i haven't figured that one out yet <laughs> but it's but i find it dangerous so we don't do that but that's you know yeah so. yeah well you know i mean my answer to them would be if you know if they start telling you, you should have done this you should have done that you know mm -hmm. 380 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah 380 you know what i i've gotten to the point where i don't argue with anybody i don't have that kind of time but um, I thought the video was a good representation to let people understand what actually goes on in that, yeah. you know, less than four seconds. You know, yeah. there's a lot happening. <laughs> there's a lot happening there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, is it the one that uh, talk with Dina? Is that the? I'm sorry. The, the video talk with Dina. Uh no, I think it's um. Do you want to drive a pro mod or something like that? It should, it's a fifteen minute long video. It should be the first video that you see when you go on. We should make that song. My... We should make that Dina's song. Do you want to drive pro mod? Do you want to drive pro mod? <laughs> <laughs> you want to run three eighties and have a ball? Or do you want to drive a pro mod? <laughs> isn't that, isn't that the, that's the tune from Meatballs too, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's the tune from Meatballs. I know it. That's my dance. Awesome. I wrapped that's it all awesome. together. Did you see how I wrapped it all together? <laughs> I wrapped it all together. He says, "Oh my goodness." But more importantly, did you use um, a selfie stick when you made that video? I, you, know, the, you know the selfie stick thing, right? The selfie stick video that. is classic. Come on, that one is like stands alone. That's fantastic. I thought that um, I thought the selfie sticks were like a like a Saturday Night Live skit. I didn't know that was a real thing. <laughs> and we were in the store, and I'm like, wait, selfie sticks are real? That's a real thing? 
people really <laughs> walk around with their phone on the end of a stick clicking pictures? Yes. I got mine somewhere right here. They do. Idea. <laughs> yeah, but Andrew's response. Oh, I mean, the video you made driving, you know, driving in a truck. <laughs> you know, I know. Poor Andrew. Andrew. Just, yeah, he just he just brings it all home. Yeah. <laughs> poor poor Andrew. He's like, I mean, he just turns and looks at the camera. He's like, now you know why I drink. Just like that. Like it just keeps <laughs> And um Lewis Lee, it's uh Dina Parisi in car drag racing video. Yep, I got it. Can you see it? Actually, it's on the top. Your first, uh, first video. Yes. Starts out with you. You're like a professional uh, announcer, racer. Like it's all mixed in together because you like put it together <laughs> nice. For a while, well, I thought you. she was gonna take odd jobs. I thought it was gonna. She was gonna just yeah, take a radio that. show and like have coffee. Job. And we would have done it. Listen, you know, if I was still on Long Island, you know, I'd be creeping around that studio oh, cool. a lot. Hey, more. you had an open door, you had an open door policy. You, you had cop launch whenever you wanted to come in. That was you knew that. Hey, I we surprised you that one time. Yeah. Well, with the trophy, right you after did. the champ, after the championship, that yeah, was that was a fun. Great surprise, yeah, that was fantastic. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, Andrew's texting right, so me. The, so yeah, hold on, I, I got to add because I missed it. Dina Parisi in car drag racing video. Is that it? Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. I just want to make sure because I'm going to watch it when we get done. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. I had that. Now, Dina, do you actually drive a, a Cadillac like V personally? Like your no, no, <laughs> with a look of disgust no. on her face. Do I look? Do I, I know? Do I, I look a little bitter about yeah. that? No, 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 I don't. Hey, we got to get I'm a connection out. with. I was going to uh, let that go, Ray. <laughs> no, that's all right. We got history. I can. Uh... Okay. Yeah, he he read okay. the bitterness on my face. Yeah, I saw it right away. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It was an unspoken New York language. Okay. Kind of hey, I'll tell you what. Yeah. The actual street car is a monster. That is a fast Well, car. it's the it, – yeah. I think it's the ATS has it, like 600 horsepower or something. Really? Supercharged with 600 horsepower. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. And yeah. um, and I heard I heard Cadillac finally is going to do a twin turbo – a twin turbo V8 car. Nice. I don't know. They don't they just they it, just right. came the president. Yeah. Oh, did they? They just took a, they needed mm -hmm. to. Yeah. 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 You know, and it's funny because we try to get them to pay attention to us, and it's like, it um, dare greatly is their tagline, and then they want the female market, and I'm like, hello. Hello. <laughs> Daring greatly and female. I you don't know, know. It, it, there's a lot I'm of politics sure how much there, closer you know you there's a lot yeah. of politics oh, there. You know that. I know. I a know. Lot. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah it's well, just, it's with social media, works. make the make the uh, audience talk for you. Make the audience dare greatly. Well, I think what's funny about that is the fact that I've and I and I let them know this is that I've had people tell me that they've come in, they saw the Cadillac, they loved it so much that they went out and bought one. Damn. Wow. Mm hmm. Yeah. And then I had two guys that already owned Cadillacs. They had the two only manual CTSVs in um, Palm Beach, yeah. um, Florida. And uh, they bought tickets to come in just because they saw they saw me do an interview or something. So they knew about the car and they wanted to see the car up close. Wow. So, yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, look at the drawing yeah. out at the uh, you know at the Nassau County show. I mean, that, you you were swamped. People were around that thing like crazy. Yeah, you know. Yeah, so, we were swamped, and yeah. I'm so disappointed in I'm so disappointed in uh, Town of Hempstead about for getting rid of that cruise yeah. to the show. But no, it's it's politics. We got a new county exec, and I know. he's not a uh -huh. corner. But you know now you know the show's at Tobey Beach next weekend. In fact, down at Tobey, and uh, Mike will be there. Uh, from the, it'll be the last bastion of the Autoseum, but they'll be down there with a couple cars. And are uh, they getting rid of the Autoseum too? Kicked them right the hell out. Said, you know what? You got serious boys. Move your shit out. Get the hell out of here. Wow. Are you kidding? So I gotta get my other banner out of there quick because it's hanging up in the Autoseum. I got a car there too. That, I gotta get out. <laughs> you know what? I see now. I find that like, that just disheartening. Yeah. Especially because they have the school there. They have all that. Right. Well, you have all great things. People are learning a craft. Yeah. But let's shut it down. I'll tell you, okay. well, you know, I, I would have been 
I would have had a lot of respect for the new county exec if she would have said, hey, listen, this was the last guy's deal, you know, and I get it because we can do pet projects. It's not my deal, so I got to ask you to go. At least you can say, hey, she was honest. They said they need the space in the building. That You saw that building. It was a freaking derelict. It was an old transportation garage. It was a wreck. Mike rehabbed the whole thing. They don't need the space, man. It's it's politics. It's all bullshit. So, but Mike has told me, and I don't know if I should even be saying it, but I'll I'll, I'll tip my I'll tip his hand. Uh, the Autoseum isn't going to fully die because he still has the rights to the name, and he still can do classes. Maybe at his shop in in Limbrook, he may do. Okay. Uh, if there's interest, he may do some classes over there. And uh, Andy is the guy that's going to lose big, Andy Perillo, because he brought a lot of his right equipment now. from Jamaica. The big vacuum forming machine, the planishing hammer, the, the English wheel. Yeah. Yep. There's a ton of equipment over there that it's going to go in storage containers. I cannot wow. believe that's just that yeah. that's just disheartening. But you know, we, we kind of all saw it coming. You know, we kind of knew, like, all right, what's going to happen? And uh, <clears throat> well, I was I was watching from here, and yeah. I I was like, mm. yeah, yeah, there were a lot of things I was wondering about. Right. But now what they did is they shifted. If anybody's been watching the, the the power on trial on TV, you know what's going on between the town of you know Hempstead and Oyster Bay. So they kind of shifted the show, the the cruise to the show over to the Oyster Bay people who had now have control. Because if you notice, the graphics are exactly the same. Hey, how'd that happen? You know, well the guy had the file. So and and the, and the manpower that Mangano had now, well a couple of those guys retired, but a couple of them are now working over on the Oyster Bay side. So they just brought everything with them. And yeah. they're in the town of Oyster Bay Beach, Obey. So, you know, it'll live on in that. That show will live on. It won't be the same because, you know. What show is it, Ray? It was it was called The Cruise to the Show. They did it every September. Yeah, September in, in Eisenhower Park. So the location was, mm-hmm. probably, you know. And they did a big, like, eight-mile cruise before that. They, they built a whole thing around it. But the show itself was very big. Out on the fields. They had of, the show. Uh, then they had the Eisen. concert afterwards. Oh, um, yeah, and- yeah. Usually any money or something. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And because the last county exec was a car guy, and he, you know, he and got a hold of my buddy Mike, and um, you know, they kind of built it, built it over the years. We went up, yeah. we gave out trophies a couple times, and 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 helped them see it uh, once in a while. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. Like I said, it's it's, it's you know politics. We move forward. So now Tobe has it, and uh, yeah, and then we'll see. We'll see where everything else lands, and you know, yeah, yeah, we'll keep it. We'll keep everybody posted. That's all. But, Got uh, you. Yeah. It's it tragic. wasn't a surprise, you know. <clears throat> yeah, that's the thing. It was, yeah. 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 It was just waiting. You know, you, you wait for the shoe to fall, and then it's mm-hmm. like, ah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That sucks. I know. Yeah, it, it does suck. Yep. Yep. You know, did like, nothing. when you were saying earlier about the Pickles Project, I, I had to fondly think back to a year ago. Um I don't want to go back on the morbid side of things, but I had to put <laughs> two pets down in the same month, one in the beginning and wow. one at the end. And, and, you know, when you go through that, like you said, it's, it's, it really, the, the vet that you use, and, and we use a great woman. She is so, so, you know, so caring. It makes a big difference. And then I think it's great that, uh, you know, I'm going to follow that project and we'll, you know, we'll advertise that as well. Because um, awareness, you know, Kim, you. you know, Kim at the station does a Springsteen show. She's a huge animal activist. And, um, you know, we're, we're always, you know, she helped me get a raccoon out of one of my cars. Well, not her personally, but she gave me some phone numbers and we did it humanely. All right. Um, real quick. John Day had a que- has a question. What's his question? Want, Dina, he wants to know what you do to prep yourself before a race, listen to music, chill, eat. What do you do? That's a, that's a good question. Um, I don't eat a lot at the racetrack, but I have to eat so that I don't get migraines because I suffer migraines, yada, yada, yada. Um, lots of peanut butter and bananas. It's <laughs> my thing. Um, and actually, I'm music. So uh, you'll see me with my headphones in, usually dancing in the staging lanes, which is why um, a couple of the guys started calling me Tiny Dancer because I would totally ignore them. and 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 be dancing in the staging lanes. And that's kind of how, <laughs> that's kind of how I get my, you know, that's the one time that I don't I prefer not to have a microphone stuck in my face is when I'm right about to get in the car or if I'm in the car, I like to just kind of zone out and be on my own. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. What do you listen All to? Right. 
It depends <laughs> on my mood, but I will tell you that most of the time, um, sometimes it, a little Christina Aguilera, but most of the time it's um, like Def Leppard, ACDC, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. More, well, more on the, the rock side. Born, born uh, basically like, you know, angry music. Not total angry music, but <laughs> one step from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, need some, you need something to get your heart going. And, yeah. um, and then there are things that I do, like um, pre, um, I do little countdowns in my head to myself, and that's for, um, that's to focus and for my lights to be better and stuff like that. So I have kind of a, a routine. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, yeah, your lights are pretty damn good. Yeah, well, they, they fell off for a while, but even Andrew said to me that it, we had we were having issues with the pressure pressure in the Bruno unit, so that was not helpful. But right, yeah. I mean, I know you know. I don't know if you want to talk about it, but you guys have quite a history going going back between the two of you and yeah. <laughs> three with two. Yeah, years. <laughs> I know. Yes, and and he's the first one to say it that I you know when. For anyone who doesn't know, Andrew and I used to run a two-car team, and it was uh, Ray has the, the shirt on that had my 63 on it, and um, we also had uh, Andrew's 53 Corvette, and they were both the same, both Pro Mods, both exactly the same, um, 526 Hemis, Bruno with Lanco, everything. And um, we wound up competing against one another a lot. Yeah. So um, he always brought up the fact that I treat him probably 95% of the time. <laughs> I think it's improving. Women have better reaction times. Well, you know, and that comes with women shooting too. My wife shoots better than me. Okay. I'll let her know. Yeah. <laughs> but, Don't tell her. <laughs> yeah, it's something. It's just something about women. They they're calmer. They they, you know, men is like let's go. <laughs> well, I think our focus is different. Like I'm figuring out that like our focus is the task at hand, and then the progression. Mm -hmm. Whereas a man's focus is I'm here, I need to get there. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like they're like we're more step takers as opposed to just kind of looking at the far end of it. So you know, just I, it's a little different mindset. I found that even when I'm working down at the shop, a lot of times I'm because I'm cognizant of like the time frame and I'm thinking where do I want to be? Where do I want to get to? And mm -hmm. then how am I going to facilitate that? And I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing at that second. And that's why I put the screwdriver through my finger or I drop something on. The, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, you're yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. Yeah. I find myself doing it yeah. all the time. But like, I feel like if I'm in, if I concentrate on that micro piece, that I'll never get done. It's like I'm, I'll never see the end. It's, and that, it's, it's a mind game. It really is. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And that's definitely more of a guy thing. You know, women will have more patience. Where a guy is just like, so get done. Yeah, with me, I don't think it's not that I'm not patient because I am patient. It's it's more of a, I don't know, it's like a goal task completion type thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it all gets done, you know. Cart, course. <laughs> yeah. By the way, dude, that, I'm, I'm actually working for Mike at his second shop. So we kind of oh, cut okay. that in the family. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Definitely mm -hmm. tell him I said hello. I will. I saw him today. I'll probably see him again tomorrow, too. Awesome. Okay, uh, Pat has a question. Um, what's your favorite track and why? Well, I'm probably going to have to say Virginia Motorsports Park um, for a few reasons. We've always done a lot of our testing there, and uh, everyone there is like family. So uh, I just I love the surface there. And I think I got my first my first win there at Northeast Outlaw Pro Mods. So, yeah, definitely VMP for sure. Nice, cool, very cool. And I see that I see Tori was mentioning um, Nikki and uh, Chris Montana. Nikki Montana built Andrew's fifty three, mm -hmm. and that thing could go down a dirt road. That mm -hmm. car was incredible. He built a good car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the, cool. the, the paintwork on those cars were just stellar. People should look at some old pictures because you, you had to see them in person. They, they were absolutely works of art. Now, yeah, the 63 is still around with really mostly the paint job. They've made some changes to it, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, who does the bodies? Like, where do you get the bodies done? Well, um, like mine was uh, 
hairy glass so it's a fiberglass body so you just purchase you purchase the body or the entire car depending on how you do it so like with the um with the cadillac we weren't in we weren't looking for a new car because we were not in the market for one but um rob matthias had uh created this cadillac body and he had called us so um you know there are different companies that will make that will make carbon fiber in you know different specs for different um you know different types of cars yeah nice this is a nice looking car i tell you it that's my nice color too car. and again you got to see nice that color in person that's i guess it's i don't know if, if you call it a candy brandy wine that's kind of what i call it because that's what it looks like but i don't know what the what is the, the correct name of the color do you, do you Ford Ruby Red. Okay. It's, it's a jacked up, it's a jacked up Ford Ruby Red. Oh hell yeah. It's and jacked it is up a little bit. Damn, yeah. does it pop? It is just yeah. Poo, poo, mm -hmm. yeah. Don't get don't get used to it because okay. it's not gonna look like that anymore. Oh well. <laughs> Andy wants to know if you have any plans into getting into uh nostalgia funny car racing. Oh geez. Pat wants to know. Huh. Boy, well, talk, about, that, talk about a that life would change. Be, yeah, that talk I about, mean, hey, that would be nice. You know, hey, if anybody road. asked me. If anybody asked me to drive it, I'd I'd be up for the task. So. Might as well go to a gasser class, you know? <laughs> Why not? Try something different. Yeah, banging gears in a gasser, yeah. yeah. Well you yeah. have to if you went that route though, Dina, you would have to start listening to Pantera's vulgar display of of uh violence. Vulgar there display of violence. All right. Great okay. great okay. angry music. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, some early Metallica. I'll keep that in mind. Like that in mind. Well, you know, right. hey, Billy Lynch still has the drags, though. We pull that out. You know, it's still sitting in storage. He in does. Yeah. I still have those pictures. That that thing is, that was, for anyone who doesn't know, that was the last A fuel that Pat Foster ever built. Yeah. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. beautiful. Cool. Yeah, I was hoping to see that, that that whole video shoot you did with him that time. I was hoping to see that yeah. come to fruition, too, because Billy's story. I know. Story, we I, think, have... I just think his story needs to be told, and, and he gave you a great interview. You know, we had we wound up having issues with that remember <laughs> yes yes so yeah yeah i was yeah, disappointed you know, with that was, there was but the audio was okay i think right was the audio okay? no no we no that was we we had yeah, a lot of issues with it yeah uh, yeah, well, yeah I, I was really disappointed with that yeah yeah another untold story uh Steel, anyway. Steel Panther. Pat said, "Steel Panther." They, if if you've never heard Steel Panther, you need to check them out. Ray, you get a kick out of them. <laughs> Ray, they're, 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 like, no, they're hey. like they're like um, uh, '80s hair band. Oh, jeez. But but all the music is out there. But it's, good it's music. Just, yeah, it's it's out there, but it's funny. It's funny. Really? Yes, you need are, to, yes. Are they a current Pat, band? I totally forgot about them. Pat just brought it up, but yeah. <laughs> are, they, are they a current band or are they like something that was that came and went? Um, no, they 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 um they're still active. They're still okay. active. It's no, funny though, because like when you see these guys, they, they are eighties hair band. They oh, are wow. yeah, it's, <laughs> it's it's yeah. They got the big they got the big hair, you know, the, the leopard skin tights, right. so, you know, they're they're right. still doing it. But their 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 music is just so Listen, out of whack. I hold any band like that up to Spinal Tap. There's my bar right there. I was just gonna know. say Spinal Tap. That's I exactly what that reminded me think, of. Think yeah. Spinal Tap in an X-rated version. Wow. <laughs> yeah. They okay. and they they've got like six albums. It's, it's really funny. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I swear to God, oh, I didn't, cool. I didn't, I had never heard of them. But Matt Steele, one of the hosts of, of Truck U, uh -huh, he's yeah. huge into them. Wow. So he finally, I think it was a year, maybe two years ago, he actually got to interview them. And I saw I saw the footage. You know, I was into that. Yeah. And it was, sometimes, it was, yeah. You know, sometimes at the shop, we'll plug our phones into the Bluetooth thing. And then and Mike Jr., like, we're, we're cranking five-finger death punch. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's what we're going to do! <laughs> cool. and then yeah. it's coming out like, like steely damn play and nice and easy <laughs> <laughs> yeah steel panther they were they're, they're, that's cool yeah, they're, i'll look that up yeah they yeah. got a bunch of albums Neat. all right it is a quarter after and i need coffee so i'm gonna run 
Yeah. He's a, he's a step down <laughs> too. Long yeah. day. I'm gonna go get me some coffee. I'm fighting a head infection, so I'm gonna go back to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep, Ray. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, we appreciate you coming back on to visit us, and you're welcome anytime. Yes, you are. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And you know, right. you don't never need an invitation from Motor Mouth Radio, Dean. You got the number whenever you. <laughs> you, guys are, you guys are the best. So, yeah. Dina, <laughs> uh, tell everybody how to how to find you on the internet and your social media tags sure. and all that stuff. Sure. If you go to dinapreciracing dot com, it's Dina with an I and Parisi with an E, and doctor, and they always spell it wrong. <laughs> um, it's true. And uh, they, they couldn't find my file because they put Dina with an E and Parisi with an I. I'm like, well, that's why you can't find me. Right. So um, Good thing you're not dying, yeah, right? So, D- exactly. DinaPreciRacing.com. All the social media is on there. The social media is me. There is no man behind the curtain. So if you ask me a question, I will answer it. I can't afford to put anybody else there anyway, but I like to have my, you know, I like to answer with my answer, not hey, someone else's. What's wrong so. with the man behind the curtain? Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> hey, there's a curtain. <laughs> right. <laughs> Got that right. <laughs> no, the right man behind the curtain is absolutely fine. Yeah. Yeah. But definitely stay tuned because there'll be some cool stuff uh, coming around the bend shortly. So stay tuned. Very cool. It's a good thing. All I can say is, you know, doctors and ethnic names, it's a good thing you're not like a Guglielmo or a Zigliano or, you know, something like that. I'm not the the Figlio because they forget about it. You know, (laughs) they'll just, they put down like broccoli. You know, they, they don't know what to do. Yeah, <laughs> do like that. Uh, Muffin, yeah, John Muffin, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Muffin. Well, you know, come on, these guys, you know. English Muffin. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. right, right, right. Burnt Muffin. Yeah, they don't know what to do. It's 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 a, oh, it's a shame. So funny. It's so true. That's why we got to so stick true. it together. We got to stick it like at the sauce. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. Very gravy. Good. God. All right, ready to start the sauce. Ray, All right, Ray, do what you on, do, uh, this, this mount. All right, Ray Guarino, Motormouth Radio. Check us out on Sunday, me and Joe D. And uh, we're talking to a tool guy this week, so we'll uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll do that. <laughs> Jeez. All right, Lou Santiago putting together Car Fix, uh, garageinsidertv.com. So hopefully by the middle of next month, we'll actually have start doing some video. And uh, moving on with that, and right. still doing season seven of Car Fix. So, and motor, and you know, playing in traffic with you guys mm-hmm. every Thursday night. Yay. Every Thursday night at nine PM Eastern. And Dina, she already, and did, she already did hers. She yeah, started, okay. Lou. She has to. She has to say a goodbye thing. You know. Okay. <laughs> I do. Highly produced. Okay, do it again, watch. Dina. Do it again, Dina. <laughs> do it again. Uh, so you already got the website. Just stay tuned. Hop on whatever form of social media you like. You'll find me on all of them. <laughs> so, yep. Pop on, say hello, and uh, stay tuned for the cool stuff we have coming up. Cool. All right. All right, people, keep mm-hmm. an eye out for LouSantiago.com because we're doing some upgrades. Go on and register so you can get the newsletter and we'll be uh putting on all the new stuff from garage insiders and my name is lewis lee and i'm out excellent peace all right good night everybody see ya yeah see you dina see ya